Good morning, siblings. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So today, I'm going on a date. But right now, I look like this. <laughs> and we do not want to look like this on a date. So we're going to go get cute. Let's go get in the shower. <laughs> I'm out of the shower now, ready to do my makeup and everything. So yeah, if you read this title, you are not being clickbaited. I am going on a date today with a boy, a real date. So let's talk about it while I do my makeup. I'm like so nervous to post this video. Um, I'm just afraid of like what people are gonna say. I don't know, I just get like scared. But at the same time, you know, I gotta stop living my life for other people and I gotta live for myself and you know, I'm ready. So first of all, I want to talk about like what a relationship is going to look like for me on YouTube if a relationship happens. I am going to be very private. Um, You know how there's like that trend on like Pinterest and TikTok where it's like private but not secret? That's like what I want my relationship to be like. If I get a boyfriend, you guys probably won't know for a while. Once I do tell you, it's gonna be like a very private thing. There might be a few videos here and there of us together, a few pictures, but like not really much. I just want relationships in YouTube to be very separate. There are some things in my life that I feel like I need to keep private. I don't want YouTube to affect a relationship badly. But now let's talk about the obvious. This is my first date in forever. Obviously, it's been like almost a year since, you know. We don't need to talk about that. We, we're just moving forward now. We're moving forward. Um, I feel like I've been ready for a while, so this is kind of just perfect timing. I am in a good place with myself mentally. Just ready. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I don't really know what else to say that's all there is to say like i i'm just ready and i don't think there's like a perfect timeline for when you should get back out there dating again after a heartbreak and stuff so it's definitely personal but this is this is my personal journey my personal path i am excited to kind of share little tidbits with you guys about it here and there but once again this youtube channel is always just going to be that kind of sounds selfish but always just about me <laughs> who is this person i know you guys are all probably wondering i am not going to say anything about who this person is or how we met or anything like that to protect their privacy but I am excited as I should be <laughs> I'm like getting all distracted I'm trying to do my makeup but I can't remember what to do next so what are we doing it's Valentine's Day so all the restaurants are gonna be super busy and stuff so we decided to do kind of like an earlier date we might get food but we're gonna go to Top Golf that's like the main part of the date Top Golf and then we might go get some food afterwards even if it's just like fast food at a park like I don't want the to be like a super big deal super fancy like this is what I'm wearing so pretty chill I want to wear red because Valentine's Day I don't own any pink so this is the next best thing and I want to be able to move for top golf so I feel like this shirt is pretty solid and I'm just gonna do my makeup and my hair pretty simple but I didn't want it to be like a crazy huge big deal fancy dinner day I don't want there to be any pressure just we're just having fun you know what I mean so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna have fun what else do I say about this I'm like I know everyone wants like tea and I'll talk about how the date went when I get back but like I don't know what to say <laughs> um the boy is cute oh also this I guess this is like the little hint of who it could be but you guys still have no idea who it is um this isn't my first time meeting this person so it's not like I'm not like super nervous but this is like the first like we're going on a date we like each other maybe situation that's exciting i know everyone's gonna have their guesses but i will not confirm or deny anything i was actually listening to an emma chamberlain podcast because she has like a boyfriend of like a year and a half or something like that and i personally don't know who it is i'm sure people do know who it is she talked about how she doesn't confirm or deny anything about her relationship and so then it's like well no one knows because she isn't confirming or denying literally anything ever about it <laughs> That's kind of my my plan. I feel like my makeup is not looking too hot because I'm so distracted. I guess I could talk about things that I want in like a future partner. So red flags, <laughs> green flags. What do I, I don't know what to talk about. Some green flags for me and something that I 
want or need in a future partner is someone who is willing to put in the work for a relationship, is willing to fight for a relationship, who treats me like I'm their favorite person, who loves Jesus more than me, and puts their relationship with God above everything else. That's like the number one thing for me. Potentially has a good relationship with his parents, wants me to be like a part of his family. Someone who wants kids, obviously, because I really want to be a mom. Someone who's kind and compassionate and obviously, you know, willing to be open with my situation and talk about it and be okay with it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But as far as like superficial things, I don't really have a specifics on like what hair color I like or if the guy has tattoos or if he's so tall. I mean, I'm literally 5'1", so I don't really care how tall the person I date is. <laughs> I don't really care so much about like the physical things because I think all of that is gonna fade as you get older anyway. I really just care about the things that actually matter that make a relationship last. Someone who's good at communication who tells me and affirms how much they care for me. Those are all like green flags for me. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and this is my first time ever on YouTube that I've been like dating a guy or going on a date and you guys don't know who it is. I'm not actually like vlogging the experience. Obviously a lot of things are different for me in this situation and in my personal situation, but dating as an adult, ugh. And also like I'm dating to marry. I know that sounds scary and it's like, oh, I just got out of marriage. Why would I say that? But that's my end goal. I want someone who can be the father of my children and to marry one day. Not anytime soon. I'm not rushing anything, but it's like, I'm not just gonna get into a relationship for no reason, just because and hope that it works out. Like if I get into a relationship, that's like a very serious thing for me. Actually, I think I am gonna do my eye makeup a little bit. This is like perfect, this warm palette, cause it's like Valentine's Day vibes. I do kinda wanna put some silver sparkle on. Or maybe I should do a little bit of gold. Honestly, just, just a little bit. My outfit versus my makeup now. All right, my makeup is done and I just blow dried my hair so it looks a little crazy right now. I'm trying to decide if I should straighten or curl it, but I think I'm feeling curls. Just like some light waves so I don't have to like work super hard on my hair. Um, but I want to touch a little bit more on like, I said like I just know I'm ready. How I knew I was ready to start dating again and all that because I know you guys are probably wondering. <laughs> I knew I'd be ready when I was completely over my ex where, you know, I could hear his name and I'm not like super sad or I don't know just over him. and I'm definitely to that point I have been for a while another thing is just like feeling healed and although I'm I feel like I might not be like completely healed because you know obviously something like that hurts and it's gonna be a lifelong of kind of healing that I feel like I'm definitely not like still in a heartbroken stage or whatever and if you guys haven't seen my like how to get over a breakup or advice whatever video I kind of talk about how I got through that in that video but I don't like feel the hurt all the time it's not something that keeps me up at night I'm not crying about it all the time and it's been like that once again like for a while I think a big sign was when I went home for Christmas I didn't have like a bunch of emotions I really didn't care like I was just happy to see my family. I also didn't want to get into dating or anything until I felt like I had a pretty solid relationship with God. I've been working on that for a very, very long time and I feel like uh, obviously I can always improve my relationship with God. I'm still like a baby Christian or whatever, but I feel like I'm at a point where I can actually, you know, I have like a good foundation of a relationship with God because I want whatever relationship I get into with a boy to be God is the center of the relationship. So that was really important to me. Things I might be scared of for a relationship, dating, whatever. Um, definitely getting my heart broken again. That's really scary to me. Commitment is really scary to me, but at the same time, I think God has healed a lot of that for me. More than like actual, like what's gonna happen to me, I feel like I could handle a heartbreak. I could handle whatever happens in dating or relationships. And I feel like I'm a lot better at it than I used to be, but I'm just scared of what people will say because my last relationship was so public and there was some drama surrounding. When we separated, especially with my family, I get a little bit scared like there's gonna be a lot of pressure on whoever I bring home next or going on dates again. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of judgment, a lot of pressure, and I don't know. That kind of stuff just really scares me, but at the same time, I have to remember like I'm not living my life for other people, I'm living my life for me, and I'm the one. Oh. 
a plane is flying over. <laughs> At the end of the day, if I love someone and they're treating me good, I'm the one who has to spend every day with them, not my family, so. But at the same time, you know, I do want my family to hopefully like whoever I date next. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know. I'm just going on a date, but I thought this was a good time to kind of talk about all of those things. I'm also just scared of the internet a little bit because it's been a while since I've put something like this more vulnerable out on the internet. The videos that like, get more views, that always attracts that people that only want to see the drama in my life, which is probably this video. So I get a little nervous about that, but at the end of the day, it's my life and I gotta do what's good for me. Okay, my hair is like still a little wet. Okay, cute little curl. Oh, I also just like didn't tell anyone I was going on a date. I Once again, I just don't want it to be a big deal. Like it is a big deal, but it's also like not a big deal. It's just a date. Half my hair is curled. I really don't want to do the other half, but obviously I can't just have one half curled. <laughs> oh, I also want to add with the whole like how I knew I was ready thing. Um, I have spent literally this entire past year working on myself in every way possible and I'm literally a different person. So I don't know, it just makes me feel happy that's been like about a year of just me and growing myself and changing and I'm really happy, I'm really confident, I'm content in my life. I'm not like searching for something to be a replacement or to fill a void, like I'm content and I think that's a really, really good sign. Okay, I am officially ready for my date. I still can't believe this is happening. Um, okay, I mean, I already showed you the fit, but here's the whole hair done, everything. I'm very excited, and um, honestly, I'll catch you guys after, tell you how it went. Wish me luck. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, I am back and done with my date now. I'm actually gonna go on and play some games because it's only like seven o'clock at night. Let me tell you a little bit about how it went. So we were gonna do Top Golf, but we got there and it was like an hour and a half wait and we were like, mm. So we actually might go to Top Golf tomorrow, but. I don't know, it depends. So we ended up going to one of my favorite restaurants. It's like a hibachi restaurant and it was super fun and it was cool because we went early enough. We were the only ones at the little spot because usually they'll sit you with other people. Sorry, all my necklaces are like backwards. Oh, and he brought me flowers. Mmm, they smell so good. And then we got a cake at H-E-B and it's like, I like velvet cake and he likes cheesecake. So it was like half velvet, half cheesecake, like on top of each other. And it was just really good. It was perfect. Then at my apartment, we came back and just played a bunch of fun games like Risk and Nerds and Rum Cube. And yeah, just had some fun. So <laughs> date was 10 out of 10. We'll be doing this again. Super exciting. That's all you need to know. That's it. That's the end of the video. There's the tea, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day.